It was the zeal to free his countrymen, the working class, the proletariat and the peasantry from the age-old, disgraceful, bloody, insane yoke of capitalism that prompted a young poet. He travelled on foot from the city slums to the remote villages of Bengal to get the real picture of his motherland. Thus the young poet of rebellion started his onward march towards the goal of a classless society. Shubhash Mukhopadhyay was born in 1919, on the 12th of February in Chuadanga, in the Nodia district of the then East Bengal. His father, Khitish Chandra Mukhopadhyay, was a public prosecutor in the judicial department. His mother, Jamini Devi, was an affectionate lady. Shubhash has mentioned in his writings. Amar Kobitai, Amar Marmukhir Bhasha Babuhar Kurichi. Kobitai, Mair Murti Ghuri Firiyashichi Bari Bari. He passed matriculation from the Mitro Institution in Bhavanipur in Kolkata in the first division. Later he completed BA from Ashutosh College with honours in philosophy. But due to his party activities, he couldn't finish his post-graduation from Calcutta University. Shubhash Mukhopadhyay during his college life stood up against capitalist exploitation and jumped into student politics at the age of 20. It was in the 1930s that Rabindranath's poetic tradition faced definite and consolidated opposition. Buddhadev Bosu, Premendra Mitra, Samar Sen, Vishnu De, Sudhindranath Dattu had their own poetic vision. But one thing common to them was their opposition to Rabindranath's tradition. Prabhash Mukhopadhyay belonged to the second generation of Bengali poets after Rabindranath Tagore. In 1939, as a member of the Labour Party, he involved himself in organising the Dock Workers' Union of Bengal. He also started writing poetry frequently around this time. His first effort was to translate and versify English poetry. English in 1940, the first collection of poems of Shubhash Mukhopadhyay, Podatik, was published. It was even before he had taken his BA degree. His Podatik was a poignant expression of revolutionary zeal, as well as a bold commitment to the working class and the peasantry. Someone may feel that the poems of Podatik are not poetry, but a manifesto of partisan ethos. Here, we may refer to his early poetic vision. Amarkachi Rajnitik slogan gulo, Shuthu slogan chilona, Borum Ishop chilo, Amar Jibuni Prothan Akushon, Lal Janda, Michi. এসব স্লোগানের অংশ ছিল না ছিল আমার জীবনের সবকিছু আমি এইজন্য জীবন পর্যন্ত দিতে প্রস্তুত ছিলাম পদাতিক in spite of its strong political flavor was highly acclaimed by all squires of readers his predecessor poet and critic Buddhadev Bosu commented in his book Kaler Putul about the youngest poet Shubhash Mukhopadhyay his techniques were so powerful and unique in poetic nature that even many of his predecessors couldn't be able to make so. We can cite here a very popular poem from the Podatic collection. Priyophul khalbar din nai oddo Dhangsher mukha mukhi amra Chokhyar shapner nei nil moddo Kaatphata rod shakhe chamra Chimnir Mukhe Shono Sairen Shankho Gangai Haturiyo Kaste Til Til Moroneo Jibon Ashankho Jibon Kechai Bhalo Bashte 
By the 40s, the situation had become more complex. In Europe, fascism had raised its ugly head and the Second World War was in full swing. Jawaharlal Nehru, in his discovery of India, wrote about the period, the Communist Party in India then, and right up to the day when Germany attacked Russia in June 1941, was wholly against any cooperation with the British war effort. Their organization had been banned. Ingrid Amoli Griptar Hui, Prothom, Takhon Durbikho Cholchilo, Bikkup Dakhati Ge Jele Jai, Tabi Koyagdire Muddhi, Another contemporary event must be mentioned here, which has influenced the younger generation of left-minded poets, literators all over the world, and that is the Spanish Civil War in 1936. The upsurge of the popular front in Spain was a turning point in modern history. Jawaharlal Nehru in his glimpses of world history mentioned, the war in, the war Spain, in Spain has been, has considered, been considered as something, as something much, much more than a national than a conflict. conflict. It, has it has become symbolical of the struggle, of the struggle between, between democracy and fascism, and, fascism and, thus and thus attracted widespread, widespread attention, attention and, sympathy. and sympathy. The British poet Stephen Spender, the French poet Louis Aragon, the Chilean poet Pablo Neruda, the Turkish poet Nazim Hikmet, and many other leftist intellectuals, poets, joined the Communist Party during this time. A few years later, Subhash Mukhopadhyay became a whole-timer in the Communist Party. His previous aesthetic views changed, and he had been convinced with the concept of Marxian aesthetics, which is commonly known as socialist realism. The leading Russian poet, Vladimir Mayakovsky, who was committed to this poetic aesthetics, immensely inspired Shubhash Mukhopadhyay. In his Kobitar Bojhapora, he also mentions this. Maxbadi Drishti te shahitu bichare shesh katha bolle kichu nai, ar manup shubhu tariti hashe, shesh kathar parir kathai to Maxbad. In 1942, Shubhash Mukhopadhyay became a party hold timer and was also associated with the party daily newspaper, Shathinata. Shomnath Lahiri, the editor of Shathinata, engaged him in prose writings, which we may call reportage. In his reportages, he truly portrayed the devastating famine in the Midnapore district during the Second World War. Amar Pruthum Ubhik Kata Hai Medhini Puri Durbhik Khe Thik Pari Giyi Chilam पाए हेटे देखे चिलाम शिविशों दुर्भिक्ष को कबूली तो ग्राम बांगला परिशी उभिक को तली रिक्लाम आमार बांगला। In 1942, he visited Dhaka. Here, Shubhash Mukhopadhyay expressed his experience about the formation of the anti-fascist writers' movement. Dhaka ते आमदे एक जन पार्टी कांग्रेस चिलेन। उर नाम शोमिन चंदो। যখন একটা মিছিল নিয়ে ও আসছিল তখন কারা জানকে খুন করে সে নির্মম ঘটনার জেরেই জন্ম নিল ফ্যাসি বিরোধী আন্দোলন মিনওয়াই ইন 1943 সুভাষ মুখোপাধ্যায় and the poet Bishnu Dey became the joint secretaries of the Anti-Fascist Writers' Association, which later merged with the Progressive Writers' Association. Munshi Premchand, Tarashankar Bandhapathai, and other literateurs of the period adorned this platform. The artists, poets, 
playwrights and the progressive patriotic left and democratic forces of the bonded motherland fought together against this colonial repression. We may here recall the days of the IPTA. Subhash Mukhopadhyay, no doubt, got a vital, impulsive inspiration from the revolutionary, vibrant flow of the times. From 1941 to 1948, his two anthologies, Chirkut and Ognikon, were published. These two collections of poems turned into a mere loud protest, having a rhythmic extravaganza. The strong, sensational, revolutionary partisan spirit reverberated here. These two books of poems have become the depiction of the social reality of our war-affected country, its colonial enslavement, and the deep sense of patriotism. Shubhash Mukhopadhyay was not only a poet, but also a sculptor of his contemporary times. Just after independence, the Communist Party was again banned. He was imprisoned for party activities for a second time. He, in his reminiscences, wrote about this experience. Communist Party Takhun Biyani Khushit Holo Ami Jyoti Bushu Muzaffar Ahmed Ar Bishnath Mukherji Amra Shabai Griptar Holam Amar Hangras Upunna She She Obhikmatar Kotha Likhe Chhi During the 50s, the Bengali little magazine Purichoy was famous among the young generation of writers. It was a forum for the left-minded writers, which was published and edited by the poet Shudhindranath Dotto. In 1951, Shubhash Mukhopadhyay had been nominated as the editor of Purichoy. Shubhash was a living communist, but he was not a communist. He was 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 a आपनार की रोबिंदर संगीत नागाय ले खुब खराप लागे सुभार्था तारक्टा अनवद दूत तोर दिये छिलें ना गाय ले आरो खराप लागे एबां एई सुभार्था आमा देर बांगला कोबितार उनिश्च मुनिश थेगे दिर खोकाल जल फल छाया दिये छें मन समग्रीक भाव खाली प्रगति संस्कृति की ना है मानविक संस्कृति का आंदोलन है और जो प्रधान नेता है सभी यहाँ पर तक ही वो हम कहते हैं आप खुद बोलने पड़े बांग्लादेश के रूपों रिश्वत भाज देख के आप चुट के भालो को भी तारीख के चले आम्रा जानो बांग्लादेश के दूसरी चौके तारा माच खाने ना कुछ याद से थाकूं के प टाम दिए ताई खुले दिलाम जानला ये पारे जे बांग्ला देश उपारे शे ही बांग्ला। शुभाशुभ मुखबाधा गोट मैरिड टू गीता मुखबाधा इन 1951। इट वाज द टर्निंग पॉइंट इन हिस पोइट्री। शुभाशुभ मुखबाधा अलोंग विथ हिस वाइफ गीता वेंट टू द 24 परगनास डिस्ट्रिक्ट एट बजबज नियर द रिवर गैंजेस। the couple stayed in the slums with the jute workers for more than two years and engaged themselves in the trade union movement. He spent all his precious youth for the welfare of the exploited labor class of Bengal. Thus he proved that he was not a poet of the ivory tower, but a true one who drew his inspiration from the people. <laughs> जीवनानंद दास एवं सुभाष मुखोपाध्याय दुटो सम्पूर्ण आलदा मेरु कवित भाषार दिक्कत यजुन आश्चर्य मिल
मिल जगह जे जीवनानंद एके अप्रचलित लोकर मुखे शा शब्द व्यवहार कर सुभाषदार कवितारों एट वैशिष्ट जीवनानंद जे आपनर बांगला बागविधिर व्यवहार से समय ग्रामीणतार सीमा छड़ा ना पर दिखे उन्नीस सेचल्लिस सतचल्लिस सतम ये नागरिक वाक अभ्यस एस ग गारलर मत गल के क्योंकि तर प्रथम दिखे जे कवितागुलो तर भित्ति प्रधान आश्रय ग्रामीण शब्द व्यवहार सुभाषदार आश्रय नागरिक बाकभंगी धुरंधर गोयंदा हावारा एकत्र चित्री चम्पट कलकता केंद्रिक जेटा मजार बेपार से हल सुभाषदा जो गद्य लेखा शुरू कर लें संबदपत्र रिपोर्टार्ज तक सुभाषदा प्रथम ग्रामीण शब्द समावेश दिखे गलन ग्रामीण मानुष की भाव तर शब्द व्यवहार कर शब्द तैरी से दिखे गलन तर सुभाषदा जो गल्प उपन्यास लिखे गल्पर कथा बोलना उपन्यास लिखे तक भाषा सम्पर्कित पूर्व चेतना उपन्यास पक्षे प्रयोजन भाषा चेतनार पथे एक आड़ाल घटे तत्सत्वे एक बार बार कर जे सुभाष मुखोपाध्याय गद्य भाषा चेतनाओंला भाषा चर्चार बांगला भाषा गद्य लेखार चर्चार एक इंगित दिए क्यों ये पर्यत जाबना जे से पत्र एम पत्र पत्रिकार छोटो खाटो लेखा जेगुल पद्धति असम्भव रकम कार्यकर हो जेमन अनेक समय बोलीला बीटी एट बांगला साहित्यर गद्य भाषार ओपर एक दारूण प्रभाव फेले इन इज बुक अफ पोएम्स फूल फुटुक ना फुटुक पब्लिश इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सेवेन उद इन द गि फ्रेमवर्क अफ सोशल कमिटमेंट सुभाष मुखोपाध्याय एटीट्यूड चेन्ज इन द प्लेस अफ पजिटिव एलिगेशन अफ हट ब्लाडेड यूथ we hear the voice of natural optimism and refined poetic expression from independence to the end of the last century another phase of social change began the hopes and the faith of the masses were gradually turned to despair this social economic scenario has been reflected in the poems that have appeared in collections like yotu dure jai kal mudhumash published during 1962 to 1971 during the 70s in the indo pak subcontinent a militant movement started in the then east bengal to overthrow the islamic military junta meanwhile in west bengal a branch of the leftist movement turned violent in nature and the naxalites started an ultra leftist movement his chelega che bone to ek to pachaliye bhai published between 1972 to 1979 displays his profound political faith in critically portraying the cross currents of this anarchic movement during the 90s shobhash mukhopadhyay was always deserted by the staunch leftists as he didn't renew his party membership in 1982 the worldwide communist movement was at stake with the fall of the soviet union in the 90s The long drawn concept of the leftist movement faced a threat from the emerging ideology of globalization. Subhash Mukhopadhyay estranged himself from the doctrinal dogma of the leftists. From his book of poems Jol Shoite to Chhorano Ghunti published in 1981 to 2001 we listen to another voice of the poet the complex period 
with its discontent against the party oligarchy and the crisis of the left movement have been vividly analyzed in his poems. He used the speech pattern of the toiling masses. Shubharda Amadek Shomoykar Ajun Pradhan Kubi, Bangla Bhasharu Ajun Pradhan Kubi Tini. Art a Tarkobita Mote Kono Kolpona Lothar Bapar Chilona, a Jogotebum Jibon Shamporke, Tarakta Sposto Dharona Chilo, Ebum Tarkobitae, She Dharona, Bashe Bishash, Protipolito Hueche, et a Shobai Jani. Tarsangi Shob Baparija Amra. একমত ছিলুম এই কথা বলা ঠিক হবে না আমি ছিলুম না আর একটা কথা আমাকে বলতেই হবে যে কবিতা লেখার ব্যাপারে তার কাছ থেকে আমরা শিখেছি অনেক প্রচুর শিখেছি সবচেয়ে বড় শিক্ষা কবিতার ভাষা সম্পর্কে সুভাষদা কোন ওই যাকে পয়েটিক ডিকশন বলে সেই রকমের কোনো আপত বাক্যে তিনি বিশ্বাসী ছিলেন না হি সেড in my poetry, I almost used the tongue of my mother, who didn't know English. To him, the poetic language was a means to come closer to the common people. The poetic language truly removes alienation. In selecting his vocabulary, he had no discrimination or prejudice. Foreign words from Arabic or Farsi or from the European stem, he dauntlessly put together in his spontaneous poetic expression which was no doubt powerful too. We can cite some of his diction. Foreign words, chimney, siren, Medinir Kovita, bourgeois, comrade, shakulirgan, gilash, kanamachi, restaurant, nirbachanik, tejaroti, budhu, etc. Folk words like anatinik in romantic, Kanakuri in Budhu, Dari Khana in Ekhane, Potoa in Ghorebari. The poet Shubhash Mukhopadhyay was a modern legend, a colorful celebrity, and a man of dynamic personality. The people of Bengal call Shubhash a poet of the three Ps poetry, politics, and poverty. It's the remarkable comment of S. Balu Rao, a noted Kannada translator of Shubhash Mukhopadhyay. Ke Kothai Jai, published in 1976, was the reflection of the movement of the tea laborers in the tea gardens of North Bengal. Antarib Bahansan and Oshuk may be compared to the same kind of fiction like Solzhenitsyn's novel, Cancer Ward, and The First Circle, where he has fearlessly expounded his critical views about the Soviet regime. Actually, while Shubhash Mukhopadhyay was translating Solzhenitsyn's novel, one day in the life of Ivan Denisovich, he was called off by the party. For his Bhutir Begar, published in 1954, an adaptation of Karl Marx's The Capital, he was very much criticized by some corners of his party. Shubhash Mukhavata himself said in his Kobitar Bojhapora, I can never claim myself to be a novelist because I can't write got-up story. His novels uh, do not follow the classical narrative Aristotelian dramatic pattern. Uh, it is not uh, structured that way, I mean, with a beginning, a middle, and an end. Rather, his style was uh, episodical, or you could say anecdotal. I mean, he takes up episodes, narrative pieces, and kind of strings them together so that uh, you can, could begin his novel anywhere and it could end anywhere. So from um, Hangras uh, to, I mean, other, his other novels, uh, I mean, it's, it's a kind of, uh, as if it was like live almost. You don't know where it begins and you don't know where it ends. After a while, when you go through the novel, you find that it is some, somewhat, you got a piece of life. Shubhash Mukhopadhyay, in his reportages, Amar Bangla, and Dark Bangla Diary could also put the signature of his creativity. All these may be considered as the blended art pattern of reportage and travelogue. She had a little Bangladeshi, Jadi Kichi, Jashunichi, Tainie, Amar Bangla. This was his introductory note 
on Amar Bangla. Eminent critic Professor Nihar Ranjan Rai wrote about him. As a pedestrian, he has discovered the new treasure of his motherland and has been more familiar to her. Amar Bangla is his long journey and a blissful piece of literary art. In translating foreign literature, Shubhash Mukhobadda can also be marked as a creative person. The selected poems of the Turkish communist Nazim Hikmet and the Chilean Pablo Neruda are some of his notable translations. During the 70s, he and the noted filmmaker of repute, Shottujit Rai, jointly revived the juvenile Bengali little magazine, Shondesh, which was first published by the grandfather of Shottujit Rai, Upendra Kishor Rai Chaudhuri. Shubhash Mukhopadhyay was probably the most controversial literary figure in contemporary Bengali literature, who walked thousands of miles in processions. He is a genuine Bengali poet, Bengali, not in any insular sense. Shubhash Mukhopadhyay is the most significant poet of our times. Phul phutuk na phutuk, aaj basantu. Khan badhano phutpathe, pathare paadubiye, ek kat khutta gaach, kochi kochi pataay, paajor phatiye haashche. Phul phutuk na phutuk, aaj basantu.